that again. Hello. Uh, I'm now on Friant Way. Um, can't really see anything around. Back down this way is Kingsbury Circle. Okay, a little long try on traffic. And then down here, we'll get onto the pavement in a minute. Ugh. A bit boggy underfoot. This is Friant Way. And we're getting to Friant Country Park, which fortunately the London Borough of Brent has kept for the local community for North West London and the whole of London to use as a park. Just watching this gentleman with his top toy. Oh, no, he doesn't know where he's going. Right, down here. These houses here are very familiar sort of style to me because they look like the sort of houses I lived in as a kid because my father was in the Royal Air Force and they had these RAF housing that was very much like these. They are probably built by the same company. Similar sort of style, not with the great entrances on them. These are quite aspirational. Over here, we've got 1930 stuff. So I'm assuming that perhaps the intention was to keep going and build more housing down here, but either the war arrived and they stopped or uh, the war arrived and then they had the green belt and they said no more house building out into nice open spaces. So this area was kept. So why did I do this video? Well, uh, not seeing a great deal at the moment, but I thought I'd just shoot it because I thought I'd have a little walk in the countryside that's on my doorstep. Oh look, a bit of police action down there. Please don't let it be that I'm filming this and then I film some incredible piece of crime. No. No. <sighs> Could have made a few quid out of it. Right, anyway. So, we are now entering the open zone. Nice well, daffodils over there. Any, any minute now you will see something amazing, something really amazing, because we've gone into what is a sort of suburban environment into countryside. Look, there's some mud there. Got a sign here that says public footpath, Friant Country Park to Shakespeare Drive. Thanks to whoever stripped that off there, so it is illegible. Here we are. Now we're getting to see the real joy of Friant Country Park. It's not a national park, it's a country park, so it's just obviously within a certain area. Got some nice silver birches that are very, they're quite mature. I reckon these are probably about 50 years old. I haven't got any actual definite uh, abora, collateral, whatever it's called, uh, knowledge of that, but I reckon they're probably about 50 to 60 years old. Nice oak tree in the distance. Springs coming through. And there's a police vehicle. And he's probably going to wonder what I'm doing, oh, yeah. as it's still locked down. But I'm having my exercise. There are some blossom, lovely. And over there, on the other side of the road, Friant Country Park. Welcome to your local nature reserve. Amazing, isn't it, really? Because not that far away from here is the horrors of Wembley Park where they put in loads and loads of apartment blocks and now it looks like someone tipped a whole box of Lego over Wembley and it's uh, just as disorganised as a seven year old would be chucking their Lego around anyway enough of my social commentary so there's a bit of a problem here with the footpaths worth pointing out London Borough Brent he seemed to uh, have uh, given up with a footpath on this side of the road the other side of the road it's fine maybe they only had money to do one side nice daffodils and I'm going to get my feet muddy now thank you very much I really don't know what happened there they just didn't bother cutting this back underneath all that lot is a footpath here we go get in there some local people looking at stuff probably shooting a video who knows isn't this wonderful anybody ever says to you 
Ah, uh, Wembley. Uh, it's horrible. Well, yes, it is a bit not that nice, but you have got this on the doorstep. And if you live in the Wembley area, you should know that. And if you live in the Wembley area and you don't know that, that's a great shame. There we go. This is where you really want to see a real bit of countryside. Look at this. Open fields. Literally, I'm not going to go too far because it's too boggy. It's waterlogged. Look, there's some water there. Amazing. Probably ducks too. All this. All of this. On our doorstep. Ish. Look at that. I mean, forget the, if you forget the sound of the, the, the traffic, you're out in the countryside there. Eh? That's Barn Hill over there. Mature trees. Fantastic. Right, I'm going to carry on walking. And um, if you're in the uh, area of Wembley, ever so, why not make a little uh, diversion and have a look at Fryant Country Park? And I'm not getting any money from uh, the London Borough of Brent for saying that. And I don't even live in the London Borough of Brent. But it's worth pointing out because I am a Londoner and because this is nice and you should enjoy it. Obviously, keeping social distancing in mind and limiting your numbers to the specified groups until further information is given. Vroom. There we go, and that hill goes up there towards, uh, we go into the sort of proper Wembley area. Uh, but we haven't got enough time on there to shoot me just going on and on and on and on. Showing about some littering going on there. They're lovely little daffodils here. The sun's gone in. And there's another man with a beard. I haven't got a beard. Anyway, I'm signing off now. Have a good day. All the best.